Hello and welcome to News Update. The Senate on Tuesday approved direct primaries for aspirants to all elective positions which will be monitored by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. According to the International Monetary Fund, global economic recovery has weakened in most rich nations due to the impact of the Delta variant of coronavirus. Iran's army and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps have launched a joint military exercise with a focus on air defense which will encompass half the country's airspace. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Benin Zonal Command, has on Monday arraigned Ukuregbe Glory, Rekpito and Oyekwa Joshua Chinedu in court for allegedly impersonating British Nigerian boxer Anthony Joshua. Governor Nasser El Rufai on Tuesday presented the 2022 draft budget of 233 billion naira to Kaduna State House of Assembly with a capital expenditure of 146 billion naira and recurrent expenditure of 87.6 billion naira. Yobe State Governor May Malabuni has directed all the ministries, departments and agencies in the state to conclude all ongoing projects before embarking on new ones. Governor Babajide Sanwolu of Lagos State has approved a security team to watch over and safeguard bus rapid transit and other transport infrastructure in Lagos State ahead of October 20, hashtag NSAS protest anniversary. And that's the news update. You can get more from TOS TV Network using the details currently showing on your screen.